What's going on guys? Thanks for clicking. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, thank you very much. My name is Blaine Roberts. I'm the owner and operator of Panhandle Salt Beach Fishing. We're running beach fishing guides in Perdido Key, Pensacola, Orange Beach, and Gulf Shores, Alabama. We also offer surf fishing lessons and sight casting guides. Walking the beach with one rod, slinging lures at pops and blow ups. And then of course your traditional set rig fishing. We've been in business for three years now and have no plans and slowing down. We're also offering surf fishing apparel and tackle. You can check out everything we're involved in by visiting panhandlesalt.com. This is my first official run with a Deerfield Fabrication and Welding Beach Dolly. I had it out here a couple days ago just to give it a test run, like completely loaded down, just to see how it would act on the sand, and it did well. But today's the first day I'm actually going to fish out of it. One thing I did notice just this morning, loading it up in the back of the truck and everything, it was a lot easier than that big old beach cart. So right off jump here, just setting up my rods. The way they're angled out here in the front is pretty convenient. I got these guys angled up out of the way. I can get my weight on, get my bait on out here. Digging that. First bait going out. Fish bite sand flea. I think I'm going to keep this one close. Right in front of this bar right here. Got a three ounce frisky thin spudnik on. Going to need it today. We'll let that one sit. Another one. Come on. Come on. There we go. What is that? <laughs> oh, cool. Look at this. What is this, guys? Look at this fish. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look this guy up. I don't know what that is. Super skinny little weird fish. I'll get my long rod, my 11 foot frisky fin custom. This is on a ninja dagger blank. And I can launch this one a mile. I got the panhandle salt long cast rig on this. This is a shorter leader, single drop, no float, just a couple beads. With the shorter leader, the limited amount of jewelry on there, this thing will launch a lot further. It cuts down on drag. There we go, there we go. That's one. That's one. Oh, it ran in on me. Ran in on me. Come on. This one's got fight. This one's got fight. Come on. There we go. There we go. Little lady fish. Use that as bait. I switched up my rigs to the double drop, the panhandle salt standard. Just because it's so choppy out there. I wanted a little something more on my rig for these fish to look at. When it's super flat conditions, I'll dumb down the tackle. I only use a couple beads, usually a single drop, no float, because I feel like they're more honed in on the bait when it's flat. There's no chop, there's not a lot going on, you know, they can really like look at what they're about to bite. But days like this, where it's choppy and it's moving, I want a little extra something on that rig for them to see, for something to catch their eye basically. Guys, when you're using those Sputnik sinkers in conditions like this, where there's a lot of current, there's a lot of pulling, chop everywhere, it's real important to dislodge these guys. So if you don't kind of pull them out of the sand, about every five minutes, I would say, they're going to get sucked down in there so bad that you're not going to be able to get them out. They get sucked down in there. You can't get them out. You got to walk back and forth, right to left, and kind of pull and reel and pull and reel. But you have a good chance of losing them, them actually breaking off. Oh, man. I think I'm on twice. That was a big hit. That's a, oh, yeah, I still got him. Oh, yeah, I still got him. Come here. Come here. That was a big hit, guys. I love these little nine-foot rods, man. Oh, come on up here. Big old lady. Get back, Fred. Big old lady. I think I'm on over there too. These little nine foot rods are awesome. I've been using these lately. These are the nine foot Real 38 Surf Pros. I was a little hesitant about them, about being nine foot, but they sling. Like I can get my baits out there 
and they're just so much fun when you're reeling in the fish. It's like you got a little inshore rod in your hand instead of that long, like 11 or 12 footer, which the 11 and 12s are needed. Sometimes you need to get really far out there. That's where that extra length is gonna come in handy. But for days like today, when I'm just fishing this first little gut up here, these little nine footers are perfect. All right, I got a red fish rig on my eight foot six Ninja Dagger here. It's got a 3,500 pin slammer on it. Oh, I just got hit. It's a little hit. 3,500 pin slammer. And I have confidence in both this rod and this reel to be able to pull in a redfish, but I don't want to put a lot of weight on it. The lure capacity of that rod. Oh, I got two on. I got two on. All right, there you go. That's a fighter. That's a fighter. What do we got here? Had a lot of slack in this line. And my other rod's on too. Come on. Pompano, baby. Pompano. <laughs> there he is. I knew they were out here, guys. That's a keeper. Let's get him in the cooler. There he is, guys, the Pompano. I had a good feeling they were going to be out here today. He's going to be right at slot. I'm going to get a quick measure just to be sure. 12 and a half inches, fork link. We are in Florida. That will be lunch. That Pompano hit the Panhandle Salt standard rig. This is our everyday double drop Pompano rig, guys. We have three different colors in this. This is the pink and chartreuse float with the three pink beads on bottom. Two out circle hooks. Oh, buddy. I just saw a big hit and it was over. That was probably a shark. That was my cut bait, guys. That was a cut ladyfish. I saw one big pop, gone. Could have been a shark, could have been a big bluefish. I had 40 pound leader on here. I think that's 40 pound. Nope, that's 30. That was my issue. I had 30 pound fluorocarbon. I need to bump it up to 40. Nice. Just got a text from Bass Pro Shop Destin. They are going to sponsor the Fall Pompano Showdown, guys. Bass Pro Shop, y'all. We're moving up. Is that a hit? Yeah, that's a hit. Something small. There he is. Running in on me. Oh, there he's fighting now. Come on up, little lady. Get back. Water chicken, man. Water chicken's all over me. He ain't left since I got here. He saw me pull up in the parking lot, has followed me in, <laughs> and has been here ever since. All right, guys, I am going to pack it up. Been out here two hours. Had some nice action. Got a pompano in the cooler. Just really honing in on conditions this time of year, guys. That's key. I knew we were going to have some shop out here this morning. I know the water clarity has been pretty clear. Bit of a south wind. There's been a ton of life in the Gulf of Mexico. All those veritables told me to go fishing. My target was the Florida Pompano and we got one. I didn't fill the cooler, but I don't need to fill the cooler. Just needed a lunch for Marty and I, my wife. I would have settled with some whiting, but the Pompano's better. Got us lunch, two hours, caught the sunrise. Successful day on the beach, y'all. Really got a good feel of the beach jolly today too. Again, this is my first time actually fishing it. It did well, I like it. I really wasn't sure about it, just because it's different. You know, we get used to stuff. <laughs> we, don't, we don't like change, but after fishing it today, I will be using it. I think I'm gonna start running my guides with it. We are moving out of that time of year where I gotta bring everything in the garage, like six, seven rods, because I gotta be prepared for anything. And we're moving into that pompano season. 
So with the Pompano season, four rods. That's all you need. That's what this guy holds. I know there's a way to add extra rod holders if needed, but I'm not going to. If I need more rods than four, I'll just take the beach cart. I like it. It was easy to load this morning. Got everything I need right on here. I'm going to start bringing a lid for my bucket. That's what I'm missing. I'm missing like a cutting board. I could use my cooler, but I really don't want to. So I'm going to start bringing a lid for my five gallon bucket and use that as my cutting board to cut up cut bait and things like that. So the takeaway from the video guys is just monitor conditions. And when you do have choppier conditions like this, beef up your rigs. When I say beef up, I mean use jewelry, use floats, use multiple beads, double drops. It gives them more to look at. Again, with so much ruckus going on out there, it's hard for them to key in on things. We don't have to be as sneaky, I guess is what I'm saying. When it's super flat, guys, you gotta be sneaky. Light tackle, I'll even dumb down my leader size. So instead of 20 pound, go 15 pound. Single drops, no floats, maybe even some translucent beads. Panhandle Salt has a rig for that. It's called the Tough Bite Rig. It is a double drop, but it has three translucent beads on the bottom drop and a completely naked hook on the top. That rig is great when it's super flat out here and you can see everything swimming. They can see you. I'm going to get home and get this pompano cleaned up, guys. Ah, <laughs> that that weird fish I caught, it's called a look down. Thanks, Tony.